Today on the show, we are making some wild-caught Atlantic salmon fillets from our friends at Heartland Home Foods. These are all natural salmon fillets. We're gonna combine them with some very simple ingredients to make an amazing flavor combination. Now, I always tell my friends, once you start eating all natural foods like the stuff that Heartland Home Foods provides, you're never gonna go back to anything else. Why? We're talking no steroids, no preservatives, no growth hormones, no chemicals, no antibiotics, all the stuff that really shouldn't be a part of food to begin with. Another good thing about working with all natural products like the all natural salmon here from Heartland Home Foods, you don't have to season the hell out of it to make it an edible product. I mean, seriously, you really, really don't. It comes already naturally seasoned by nature. Do you know that a lot of salmon in the grocery store, the pink you see on it, is not natural, it's actually dyed to look that way. Yeah, well the pink here, vibrant, beautiful, that's how it was naturally conceived. It's not dyed or painted or what, it just makes me sick thinking about what they do to some of the food to make it look good. The stuff at Heartland Home Foods, all natural, this is how nature intended it to be. So, to get started with our salmon, and like I said, we don't have to use a ton of spices or anything to make this taste good. We're just gonna use some very simple ingredients and start in the pan over here on the stove. I'm gonna start out, gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there, just like that, put a tablespoon or so. And a lot of this is gonna cook out, so don't worry too much about, oh, that's a lot of calories right there because this is just gonna cook out as the process goes on. Into the pan with the olive oil, we're gonna put some garlic that we sliced up, just like that. Toss it around a little bit to get that coated in the olive oil. And on top of that, we're gonna put some diced up onions in there as well. I always like to head over to the local farmer's market to get my vegetables, or if you can yourself, grow them in your own garden. We're gonna use some fresh basil from our garden in just a little bit. Turn that heat down to about a medium. Once these guys start getting nice and brown like that. We're gonna kinda move them off to the side a little bit, make a little room for our salmon that we just put a little salt and pepper on. And we're not seasoning these because we want them to taste like salt and pepper. We're adding a little bit of salt and pepper because they actually bring out some of the natural flavor in the fish. So don't go crazy overboard, just a bit just like that. And then skin side down, and add our salmon in there just like that. You want skin inside down because we want that skin to crisp up a little bit. It's okay if you put some of the garlic and onion on top, that's fine. You got one more ingredient to put in here yet. So we're almost gonna let these poach a little bit. All right, on top of the salmon, we cut up some cherry tomatoes earlier, and we're gonna dump those right in there. A little bit of juice is still in there from the tomatoes. And just kind of put it off to the side a little bit so they kind of cook a little bit alongside the salmon. And if the juice of the tomatoes is not enough to create about three, four tablespoons of liquid, you can add in a little bit of water, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a cover on the salmon, just like this. And we're gonna turn the heat down to about uh, low medium, and we're gonna let that all steam. What you're gonna have here is the aromatics of the garlic, the onion, the cherry tomatoes, and a little bit of that olive oil all steaming up and covering the top of the salmon as well, as it both heats the bottom from the direct heat of the pan and also the steam heating the top of the salmon so it all cooks evenly. We're gonna leave it in there for about eight minutes or so. We're gonna watch it, and then once it's uh, nice and uh, tender to the touch, a little bit flaky, that's when we're gonna take it out. And that, that water and that uh, juice from the tomatoes, that's gonna create a really nice sauce we can put right on top. All natural ingredients, no butter, no cream, nothing bad for you. By the end of the whole dish, you're looking at about 280 calories. How can you beat that? All right, our all natural salmon from Heartland Foods is about ready to serve. Check that out. That is looking good. To plate this, very, very simply, Take one of the fillets of salmon, put it on whatever plate you choose. We're gonna take our piece just like this, 
put it down. Get some of those cherry tomatoes and some of that garlic. Just like that and put it on top. It's almost like a little salsa, if you will. All natural ingredients and all natural food. Nothing better. A little color to it. Kind of a little basil leaf like that. That's what I like to do. And voila, take a look at that. Our all natural Alaskan salmon from Heartland Home Foods with some of those nice all natural ingredients on top. A meal you're gonna love and not feel guilty about. Let's dig in. I mean, check that out. That is so good. Another great recipe using some of the awesome all natural products from Heartland Home Foods. All natural products, better quality than you're gonna find in your local grocery store. Definitely check them out. Free shipping to your house as well. For the Taste Spot TV, I'm Tony Bruschi. Thanks for watching.